No turning back on the icy cold plains. As the sky turns to black, as the wind brings the rain, my thin shirt does not a thing to protect. I sit huddled, distraught, feeling distant and bereft. And sleep will not come, I simply can't rest. I open my eyes, remembering a test. Shuddering and shivering, blundering, quivering. I walk out, I'm guided, I want to be snivering, and I want to rest, but it's time to go forth to the hustle and bustle to finish this test. So I go off to town, just filled full of fear, and I see the eyes, I see them leer. And then halfway there, I freeze in my tracks, don't want to go forward, I will not go back. I barely register and freeze when I find a wolf has my silhouette in mind. I fear the town, so I gather my courage. Then I look at the wolf, and then again at the forest. The wolf is more me than I, with those deep gazing eyes beckoning me. Let's ride in the night. So I jump on her back, and I start riding. We're free as we run, just the moon shining. Across the dark night, past the far fields, I see the far oceans, and mountains, and steel. There's chaos and noise, keep running we do. Think, if we run far, we'll be safer too. A great grove of trees with no weeds underneath. A peaceful respite, the wolf stops to breathe. She lets me off and I saunter about. A tree draws me near. I walk underground. I walk into the roots of this hollow queen and find myself inside a timeless fine dream. And when I look out, I see all the others, the other trees, as sisters and brothers. I'm happy. I smile at least for a second. I don't think a bit that anything's pressing. The wolf starts to sniff and lays down so quiet. But something in the wind draws me back in. What was it, I wonder, I left in that town? It's so peaceful here. But there's something I'm remembering now. To town I must go and leave this fine place. I want to stay, but there really is no escape. The wolf I do ride, tumbling again. The breeze flows by like riding the wind. She gives me her fangs, her jagged sharp nails. I thank her. She smiles and gives me her mail. Her leather fur armor, perhaps it will help. I start off quite clean, but as I walk in, my clean polish sheen does not last a min. I get scarred and bloody, but I keep moving, attacked in all directions, and I realize right then that I'm going to die. But it's all okay. I'm at peace inside. I make it to town and I fulfill my quest by going to the door, by breathing my last breath. So I pull open and swing that great wooden frame. The future comes forth and I fall, but it's okay. My mind starts swirling. I see the bright light, a flashing of fear, a losing of sight, and then a return warmed by the nectar. Get up slowly, a voice says. You've been resurrected. Who am I? I ask when I wake. You're Jesus, and all of us are, the old man says, laughing in my face. There's something I must do, I say, trying to get up. The old man tells me, rest easy, son. Sit still and sup. Your work is all through. Your labor is done. It's maybe unexpected, but you actually won. And to tell the truth, I'm quite happy about the fact that I haven't died yet somehow. Looking out the window, I see the mountaintop, a graveyard grove of trees with some cubs there, up on top. I smile and they see me, and they all begin to howl. I smile back at them and whisper, there's no turning back now.